All right, so I'm being generous today, like I said. I'm doing um, signs that I said I wasn't gonna do. Mostly because I'm bored and I have the time. So we're gonna do Virgo. I was trying to figure out if I wanna do Leo, Libra, but I might do them tomorrow, I don't know. We'll see, or later today. Um, probably not because I have school work to do. All right, anyway, so. Let's look at your week, Virgo. So October 25th through 31st. Um, these are general messages. So just keep in mind that general means it could be for, it's for everybody. So it may not be specific to your situation. Also free will is at play all the time. So these situations can change from one day to the next. So Virgo, what is going on with Virgo? What is going on with Virgo and love for the week of October 25th through the 31st? Hmm, poverty. So someone's feeling left out, um, broken. Damn, this came out with somebody else. Uh, we have toil and labor. So someone feels, again, like they're working too hard and they're losing out on something. They're working hard for a connection of some sort and they're losing a bit of themselves every single time. We have great fortune. Despair in reverse. I'm just going to lay them all out. These are the signs I don't usually do. And bad health. Main female in reverse. Thoughts in reverse. Pathway in reverse. Someone's feeling stuck. And wealthy men. <sighs> this has been coming out too. Coffin in reverse. So, um, Virgo, somebody here is not wanting to move on. Whether that be you or the person that you're dealing with does not want to move on from this. I'm feeling like you feel like there's a lot of work that needs to be done that you're not willing to work on. Um, maybe somebody here is dragging their feet. They can't, they don't have anything to offer you and you're starting to realize that. And it's like you realize that you deserve more um, with this great fortune being here. Like you deserve the best. Um, you don't have to put up with people who maybe this person can't keep a job because um, we have despair in reverse. So this person always goes from back and forth between having a job to not having a job. And it's like, this is taking a toll on the relationship. It's making the relationship very toxic. Um, you just like are upset and done with it, basically. Um, you don't want to be in this connection anymore. So if you're a feminine here, um, we have main female in reverse, so you don't even want to be with this person. You don't even want them to call you their girlfriend. <laughs> you don't want to think about it. So very passive, um, aggressive type of stuff. You don't want to think about what's going on, um, and you're afraid of moving on because you're not sure what the other side holds for you. You're used to this situation. But you really want somebody that is more stable is what I'm getting here. Yeah, Virgo. So this person that is in unstable, um, let's see what their thoughts are about this connection. <clears throat> yeah, Virgo, you are done with this situation. 
you're just not feeling good about anything with this. Too many cards came out. You want somebody that's stable and actually can provide for you. <clears throat> I need some water. I've been doing too many of these. This came out with the four of pentacles. So this is how this person is viewing you, Virgo. They feel like you're selfish. They feel like you hold on to things for too long. So maybe you don't communicate something with them. Ten of Cups. They can actually see themselves having a family with you. So they do trust you enough to um, be, they're like, you're like their wish fulfillment. Somebody that they've always wanted. We have the five of swords here. I feel like this person believes that you don't care about them and that you just want the control. You want to control everything. And they see you as someone that nags a lot. That's what I'm getting from this. Like you make people feel bad. You make they feel like you make you make this person feel bad about themselves. Two of Swords in reverse. So it's like you see you see that you want to be with them. But this healing card keeps coming out. So you know that you want to be with them, but you also know that there's some type of um, healing that needs to go on here. There's a lot of damage in this uh, connection. It's um, something that needs to get balanced. Like something's broken and it needs to be fixed. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. So you feel like this person's a hard worker at least. Or they feel, I'm sorry, uh, Virgo, they feel that you're a hard worker. And my battery's dying. Queen of Cups. So they know, they, they know that you could be a great person. Um, mother. They know that there's some type of emotions there because you're very giving and nurturing and caring. That's how they see you. I'm going to do a few more. We have Ten of Swords. So they know that you feel like we have the moon in reverse too. So they know that you found out some things and that you feel betrayed and hurt by them. And that you keep trying with them. They know that they're they're messing up. We have the death in reverse. So again, coffin, death, same card. No, something's not wanting, they're not wanting to end it with you either. So there's some type of non-ending with this connection. It's like you guys just continue. But you see the uh, Virgo, your person sees a lot of great qualities in you. And there are a few that are like bad. I'm trying to move on without you. So I think this is you, Virgo. You're trying to move on without this person, but it's hard for you. Um, possibly this means that you guys have been together for a long time. I'm getting a lot of threes and fours. So three to four years possibly. You're going to hear from me soon. So I don't know. Maybe this person doesn't live with you. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I don't feel the same way. <laughs> Again, Virgo. I feel like, Virgo, you're just tired of this person. Oops. We need to talk. Guess I took off 
why are you so cold? So this is them asking you why you're so cold. I'm coming, baby. I missed you. So you guys probably haven't talked to each other in a while. I got money issues. That's what's stopping me. So we already established that earlier. This person's in and out with jobs. And that's probably something that frustrates you. I regret how things went between us. So they want to be better. I need to build my wealth. So you have wealthy men here. So this person knows that you want somebody that's stable. And they're trying to work on that. I don't know how long it's going to take though. Um, I don't want to talk. So this is you Virgo. You don't want to talk to this person. You don't care what they have to say. Um, I'm taking my time on purpose. So this could be you, Virgo. Uh, maybe you haven't made any commitments with this person because of their problems with keeping a job. That's what I'm getting here. This person has issues keeping a job. So for Virgo, uh, will they ever talk to this person again? And that was fast. Thumbs up. So that's a yes. Will this person ever get a job <laughs> or a secure job? undetermined so they don't we don't know yet overall what is going to happen certainly not <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> confirm stay positive so i guess it's like you have to manifest this if you want this person to do better you have to mentally think about it and then try to encourage them instead of maybe putting them down because I feel like maybe you do put them down but you've dealt with this multiple times and so that's the only reason why you do that um so yeah ask again later at a later time maybe you guys might change some things but as of right now it is a a go that you guys are going to talk again or be in each other's space it's just undetermined how it's going to go because this person is still going to have uh, job issues or financial issues. Um, and you just have to stay positive. If you are deciding to stay in this connection, you need to stay positive and try to work on it that way from your mental space. So you can try and give some of that energy to the person that you're dealing with so they can change um, on their own. So um, that's the reading for Virgo for the week of October. So if you guys have any, the week of October, the week of October 25th through 31st, if you guys like that, please let me know, like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to try and get more content out to you guys. Like I said, I'm not sure what signs I'm going to do um, other than the ones I've already um, listed. So that's Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, and I believe that was it. So if I feel called to do other readings, I will go ahead and do that for other Zodiac signs. All right, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.